guys, welcome back to the channel. And it was uh, going to the bikes and breakfasts event this morning. I think it's called Carbs and Carbs and Coffee, I think, in Burlington, New Jersey. First one of these events, um, more of like classic motorcycles, but um, yeah, I figured I'd take you guys for a ride. Um, wanted to, because I lost the, <laughs> I lost the audio. I wanted to give you guys a review of the helmet that I'm running now that I've put a couple hundred miles on it, maybe more, maybe more, 500 miles or so. But yeah, I have uh, the Scorpion EXO R1 Air, and uh, I got the. gold iridium visor the price point I said in my unboxing video was just under 400 which was uh you know that that's where I want it to be so but um, let's just talk a little bit about the helmet so we'll start with comfort um, I'm wearing a size large and my bells I wore size medium I feel like uh, I got the right size I don't have you know the the cheek pads are super snug. Um, the ear cavities are really nice, but I am running a, a Cena 10S in there. Um, the one side is bothering me a little bit. I gotta adjust the speakers a little, but I'm rubbing against my ear a little bit much. It's a bit annoying, but doesn't mean it's gonna happen to you guys. So, cheek pads, really comfortable. I have good breathability uh, in the helmet. Like I said, the ear cavities are nice, open. I don't get any pressure on my forehead or anything like that. Uh, so that's all good. I'm trying to think what else. Um, just in terms of comfort. Uh, I got good like a good gap or distance between my mouth and the front of the helmet you know some of them some helmets can can be a little bit tighter there or a little less space good good space there it's not like my face is rubbing to the front the other thing about this helmet in terms of comfortability is the pump so there's a pump in the front where you can pump up the cheek pads, even make them even more firm. So that's a nice addition. I've used it a little bit, um, but I got, it, it's pretty snug, so I really don't find myself using it too much. So next, I would say, and I mentioned it already, kind of, and I said breathability, but airflow. So airflow. I had three vents on my bell. I had, I had, ch hold on. I had chin. I had two in the top. I think I had three. Anyway, this has got two, top and chin. And I feel like I get good. It's coming through good. I feel like you can feel it. Um, it's not bad. Like I said, all around good airflow through the helmet for the most part. Again, you know, guys, I don't really have anything to go off of other than a lower, a helmet that was like in the lower spec category. That bell was more like entry level. So I, I don't know how good or how much better you could get. So I know some 
based on the aerodynamics. I'm sure others in the higher price point are better. Uh, let's see. You know, the one thing with this, with this helmet, the neck ring or the, you know, underneath, it's a lot tighter around my neck. So there's not a lot of air coming up through the bottom, hence reducing noise. So that's where I'll, I'll pivot to that, the noise on the helmet. Um, again, I kind of just mentioned it before, I don't know how how much better you could do than this with the the higher price point helmets but it, it's tremendously different for the better over my bell so it's a huge improvement uh, it's not nearly as loud but you know the bell wasn't bothering me that much it was just like if I was vlogging and trying to hear myself think I, I could this one I can it's better Um, aesthetics, I'll say. I mean, I bought the helmet for the aesthetic, for the look. You know, it's got the spoiler on the back. Kind of like a more of a sport bike look. Uh, there weren't a lot of them out there in this price point. Um, I didn't buy it just for the aesthetics because I was between this and a showy. And I forget what showy it was. RF 1200 or 1400, whatever it was. But... Um, you know, I'm just saying I did my research. I, I wasn't just for aesthetics. I looked at the comfortability, you know, all the different categories they rate these helmets for, uh, noise, kind of the things I've mentioned, comfortability, airflow, all that. And it got, you know, four out of five stars, I would say, in every category, mid fours and most things. You know, I've never had a, a Scorpion before, so... And it was a little cheaper, right? It was a little cheaper, which is what I was looking for. I want the biggest bang for my buck. I didn't want to spend over 500 So... And then, you know, in terms of the vlogging, I have the Senna 10S set up on it with my GoPro utilizing a chin mount and a J-clip to get... I think I complained about the, the gap or lack thereof in one of my videos where I, I wasn't able to move the camera that much and now with that J-clip I'm good. So, you know, with a, with a Bluetooth headset, the setup was easy. Um, I had to cut a hole out of the chin flare on the bottom to get the mic through, but, uh, you know, that, not, not a big deal or anything. But yeah, I mean, all in all, pretty happy with the helmet. I don't really have anything negative to say. Uh, you know, I, I guess if I were giving it out of five stars, I would give it a four uh, based on all the categories I just said to you guys. Um, the only reason I would give it a four is, I guess, because I don't know what I don't know for a, a more expensive helmet. I mean, I mean, it isn't super quiet, but I don't know that any helmet would be. Uh, so I'll just say, like, I'll give it a four because obviously there's probably some improvement there could be had. The on the exterior of the helmet, some of the there's like the piece for the the top vent seems kind of cheap, and they actually sent me one. The first one I got was broken and damaged, so I'm assuming that means that it's kind of you know not that well put together that that vent hood because it looked like it was just like two posts and some glue um it feels kind of cheap cheap plastic but you know i got another helmet everything's fine but we'll see how that holds up over time um i went with the gloss black you know uh, for reason i wanted the gloss back to match the bike uh, I'm always a big fan of the black and gold. That's kind of like what my bike is. I kind of, I don't really call my bike a name, but it, 
my son is huge into um, superheroes so the Dark Knight is kind of the, what I've named the bike um, more of like the black and gold Batman Batman style but getting off here But yeah, I mean, I would I would recommend the helmet, you know, for the price point, um, comfortability. What I was trying to get out of it, and a reduction in the wind noise. Step up for my other helmet. Totally would recommend it. I think I paid three ninety five for it or something like that. But yeah, pretty happy with it. Good choice so far. Yes, I'm not sponsored by Scorpion or anything like that. Like I said, I bought the helmet with my own money. My, I did my own, you know, research and everything. And uh, so I'm not, I'm not here promoting, promoting Scorpion or anything. You guys uh, obviously do what's best for you and do your own research. But uh, I'm just here to tell you that the the helmet stands uh, stands up to. The rating I feel like that it's gotten, and that I would I would recommend it. All right, I'm gonna get to this bikes and breakfast, grab some breakfast, show you guys the bikes, and I'll catch up in a bit. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here at uh, Evermore Coffee Roasters in Burlington, New Jersey. They're just starting a bikes and breakfast every fourth Sunday of the month. Um, definitely go check them out, guys. I'll leave their link in the description. Uh, they've been around for about five years, and uh, it's going to be called Carbs and Coffee. So check it out, and um, I'll show you guys around the bikes. Guys, I'm gonna end it there. Didn't do any footage going home, um, but thanks for sticking with me and coming for the ride uh, to the Carbs and Coffee event, plus the um, review of the Scorpion EXO R1 Air helmet. Um, appreciate if you guys would consider su subscribing, like, comment, smash that bell to be notified of uh, upcoming content, and um, yeah, check out the cafe. I'm sorry, Carbs and Coffee event every fourth Sunday in Burlington City, hosted by Evermore Coffee Roasters and American Breed Barber. Uh, you guys can find them on Instagram. I'll leave their handles in the description below, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.